Okay, welcome. What I want to do here is show you how to find the variations of the sine, um, which is going to be Descartes' rule of sine. And what that's going to tell us is that's going to tell us the number of positive and negative real zeros. It's not going to help us if we have imaginary zeros, but it will tell us maybe how many imaginary zeros we have um, or if, you know, uh, if we have any at all. So we look at, if I have h of x, what we're going to do equals 4x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to look at the variations of the sine of this polynomial. And so the variation sine mean if I go from a positive to a negative, that's a variation. Then if I go to a negative to a positive, that's another variation. Then I go from a positive to a negative. So I have three variations. So what that tells me is I have a possibility of three positive zeros or minus an even integer, which would be minus 2, minus 4. I can only minus 2 from there. You can't have negative um, zeros. But if I minus 2, then I'm left with 1. So I either have 3 or 1 positive real zeros. So if you look at this, I have a, I have a uh, power to the, um, excuse me, I have a, uh, a polynomial to the third power. So I'm only, I'm only going to have my three zeros. One of them is definitely going to be positive. It's either all of them are positive, or one of them is going to be positive. So the next test I want to do is how about the negative, right? So it's either I'm going to have zero negative, none that are negative, or zero none, zero none. I'm either not going to have any negative, or I'm going to have two negative. So let's take a look at this. So to find the negatives, I'm going to now evaluate for h of negative x. So it's going to be 4 times negative x cubed minus 3 negative x squared plus 2 times negative x minus 1. So in doing a problem like this, when I have negative x raised to any odd powers, you're going to keep it negative. So I have negative 4x cubed. Negative x squared is going to be now positive. Positive times negative, negative 3x squared. This now turns to negative minus 1. And what we notice is now we have no variation assigned. So there's 0 negative real zeros. So what does that tell us? Well, that tells us now I have zero negative real zeros, so therefore I either have all positive real zeros, three of them, or I have one real zero, and the other two are going to be imaginary. So ladies and gentlemen, that's how we use Descartes' rule of signs. I hope it helped. If you have any questions, please make sure you uh, comment below and uh, subscribe. Thanks.